Hi, everyone. For many years, cable industry has delivered premium content to the consumers very effectively, starting with linear content and then in various forms of nonlinear content. Thanks to broadband, the way we consume media has evolved, though. User-generated content is becoming more important every day. Taking YouTube alone, there are more than 800 million unique visits to YouTube each month. 500 hours of video is getting uploaded to YouTube every single minute. That is more content that was created by the three major US networks in over 60 years. So user-generated content has obviously become more important, and yet the cable industry has very little influence on the way this content is delivered and consumed by the users. We've left this to the hands of the OTT players, such as YouTube, Facebook, WhatsApp, Dropbox, and they're doing a decent job. But there is a lot of opportunity for us to work together to improve the experience and bring the Generation Z back into the living room and engaged with the TV screen again. So let me point out a couple of things. Today, if we want to share content, we have no choice but to trust third-party cloud services. The result, our content becomes prone to abuse and we have no control of it. We have no idea what happens to the content that goes up on the cloud. We do know that with some of these services, we give away the right to use of our content as soon as we start using them. And don't take me wrong, there's nothing wrong with trust, but it has to be a choice. Another example, you know when you want to show content on your device to your friend, you have to pass your device to them? And this happens almost universally with everyone. The next thing they do, they swipe to the right or to the left to, the, to see the next content that you don't want them to see. <laughs> and even worse, while they're doing that, an embarrassing text message arrives from a friend whom they may not even like. <laughs> so, Fundamentally, we need to be in control of how our content is accessed, shared, and distributed without the need to trust anyone. And that is what we have spent the last six years at Mimic developing with some of the well-known technologies in our industry. Software, Mimic software platform gives users control of their digital content by turning every computing device they own into a micro cloud server now that they can manage and control. Whether it's a PC, phone, set-top box, doesn't matter. It enables the devices to share their CPU processing power and even a storage. So you can host your content right from your device. When you want to share content, you don't have to send it to anywhere. You just mimic it to other screens. Unless, of course, you allow the receiving end to download the content, which means you're still in control. You don't have to pass your device to your friend anymore in order to share a content. You just mimic it to their screen. And not only you can do all that wonderful thing with your media, uh, Mimic discovers all of your connected devices around your home and puts you in control of all of them from every platform. So, for instance, if you have an IP camera pointing to your backyard, you can get access to the live feed of that and mimic it to a friend if you want without need to share your credentials or even creating a profile on the camera for them. How do we do this? Uh, the user downloads and installs Mimic application on all of their devices, which turns them to microcloud server nodes. The devices form a mesh, and our algorithm selects the most capable device on the network and turns that to a super node that starts serving the rest. It happens so dynamically, so one, when one super node goes out, another device immediately takes over. And it's completely transparent to the end user. So let me show you how it works. We have some live demo. I have Shaya, one of my colleagues here, helping me out with this. All right, Shaya. Thanks, Sam. Hi, I'm Shaya Rida. I'm the director of mobile products at Mimic. So I have my iPad and Sam's uh, Android phone on the big screen here, and we're both going to launch Mimic Access on our devices. So the devices find each other very quickly, and um, 
I have a few photos on here that I think Sam will like to see. I'll browse to that photo. I'll tap the mimic icon. I'd select Sam's phone and mimic it. All right, as you can see, I got a mimic request notification. I can reject or I can accept. I'm going to remember so it doesn't come up again and accept that. All right, nice photo. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next one. And whoa, um, I'm not sure if, uh, if I'm going to share this photo here. Uh, so maybe. No, no, no. So let's, uh, let's, there we go. I don't think I'll want to be sharing this thing from uh, Halloween. So let's go to the next one. And this one is much nicer. So there you go, Sam. Oh, fantastic. That's good. Thanks, Shaya. <laughs> All right. So you see how easy you can push content. It can be any type of content. I give you another example. You know, I'm sitting in the living room. I have a nice large screen, TV screen. So I can even... Uh, launch Mimic Access on my TV. So, I think I'm grabbing a wrong remote control. Too many things happening here. <laughs> all right, there you go, it works. <laughs> so, I launched Mimic Access on the TV, which sees all of my other devices, by the way. But me being me, I'm sitting on my sofa, I always have my phone with me. But the video that I actually want to access is on my tablet sitting somewhere around my home, but I can access it from any of my devices here. So what I'll do, here I go to Sam's tablet videos. This is the content of my tablet. This is the video from the company Christmas party that I want to access. So I can play it here or I can say mimic. I'm going to select my TV box. I also select Shia's iPad because I think he's going to enjoy the video and mimic it. So basically, I'm streaming now the content to Shia's iPad, which you're already seeing here on the screen, and to the TV screen. And our setup box here, by the way, is connected through Wi-Fi. Everything is Wi-Fi. So that's even more impressive. <laughs> so they all work independently. So on the TV, I can go back. And as you can see, Shia continues. He's even playing back the content independently without affecting me on the TV. So it all works independent of each other. Give you one last example. Remember I said IP cameras. So I have an uh, IP camera set up here on a stage pointing to Shaya, supposedly a baby monitoring camera. So I go to that. I can access the live feed of that right here on the TV. Hi, Shaya. <laughs> All right, so, and I can also mimic that live feed just like any other content. For the sake of this uh, demonstration, I'm going to select everybody, even my tablet. Mimic. Boom. It appears everywhere just with one click, and I haven't even left my sofa yet. <laughs> so you see with Mimic how easy this all is. Um, some of you may relate this to casting, but as you can see, it's a lot more powerful than that. You can mimic to multiple users' devices at the same time. The receiving end can accept or reject. If they accept it, they can play back the content independently, and it's all multi-directional. So you can even mimic from the TV screen to other devices. And there's so much more than that. I'd love to show you this, but no time. So please come to the Tech Stadium. We can even show you how easy it is to add this to your existing set-top box solutions. Um, and some of our executives are there as well. Um, Kai Bueller, our CMO, and also our CEO, Siavash Alamuti, whom some of you may already know. He's famous for the Alamuti MIMO code. He's there, and we're excited to see you. And please remember, Mimic is a perfect tool for the cable industry to grab the attention of the Generation Z back again and turn them to customers. Download Mimic Access and see why. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.